So in today's video, this enormous Land Rover Defender gets a good wash, and a dog breaks into my van. So after chasing away the dogs, I started by giving the wheels, tyres and wheel arches a good rinse in order to remove as much dirt and mud as possible. As you can see here, the Land Rover was so dirty that I had to remove this piece of beautiful English countryside by hand. I then spray the alloy wheels with cleaner and allow a couple of minutes for the product to get to work on the brake dust. Whilst I'm waiting, I thoroughly clean the tyres using a degreaser and a stiff bristle brush creating a lovely brown lather. I then tackle the alloy wheels by using various brushes in order to clean the face, inner barrel and behind the spokes of the wheel. Once finished, I rinse the dirt and grime away, revealing a much nicer looking wheel. As the Land Rover doesn't get cleaned very often, I repeated the wheel cleaning process again in order to try and remove even more of the stubborn baked on brake dust. The tyres were also given another go over, and as you can see by the brown lather, there is still more grime that can be removed. Once I finished pruning and cleaning all four wheels, I moved on to the other lower areas of the vehicle such as the mud flaps, running boards and the exhaust tip. I like to get these areas out of the way prior to washing the paint as I don't want these areas contaminating the paintwork or my wash mitt in the future. I then move on to the pre-wash stages. This consists of an initial heavy rinse with water in order to blast off a lot of the loose dirt and mud before using a dedicated snow foam on the vehicle. The snow foam is left to soften and loosen the remaining dirt and grime left on the vehicle. I know some people believe snow foam is a waste of time and product, however I have seen for myself that the vehicle is much cleaner after this process. The benefit of this is the less dirt and grime on the vehicle, the less dirt and grime that gets lodged into your wash mitt. This greatly reduces the chances of scratching the paint, and also prolongs the life of the wash mitt. Whilst the snow foam dwells, I begin agitating the many intricate areas of the Land Rover. This is done in order to release all the dirt in the hard to reach areas that I am unlikely to access with the wash mitt. After all the snow foam has been rinsed away, I prepare my wash buckets and begin washing the paint. The roof of the Land Rover was very difficult to access. I washed it as best as I could without removing the roof rack. The rest of the vehicle was washed as normal and was fairly straightforward. Following this I took care of some of the road tar on the lower sections of the vehicle and then rinsed the vehicle using spot free water. I used my DI resin filter and rinsed the vehicle with water that was not going to leave any water marks. The reason for doing this was that as the sun was out and the vehicle was so big, there was no way I was going to be able to run around and dry the vehicle before any water spots formed. Once the vehicle had air dried, I quickly used a panel wipe to wipe down any remaining drips and light dirt that could potentially remain on the surface of the paint. Finally, I move on to the finishing stages of the ballet. The products I'm using on the paint is a product by Auto Finesse called Triple. Triple is a 3-in-1 product that I use to cleanse the paint. This removes some of the oxidation, contaminants and staining that can rob the vehicle of its clarity. Triple also glazes the paintwork. This will help fill any light haze or scratches on the surface of the paint. It's not a replacement for paint correction, however it certainly makes the metallic paint pop on this Land Rover. On top of that, Triple leaves behind a layer of Canupa wax which gives the vehicle a bit of added protection. So all in all, Auto Finesse Triple is a very handy little product that is capable of many things. Artie! Artie! What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on! Come on! I finished the Land Rover by cleaning the glass, polishing the exhaust tip, dressing the tyres and generally checking the vehicle over for any parts that I may have overlooked. I hope you enjoyed the video and check out the aftershots for the final results. Thanks for watching.